Hi, my name is Bob. This is video number four, Spreadsheet Basics, and I'm going to be talking about formatting mostly. But first I would like to review Spreadsheet Basics 1, 2, and 3, where I talked about adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. I want to go over all the concepts. A column is something that goes up and down. This is column A. The thing that holds the porch up on a house is called a column. This is column B and C. And it'll go all the way over to Z and then ultimately towards the end of the spreadsheet and it's quite a large spreadsheet. You don't have to worry about r running out of room. Rows go across and they are numbered along the left numerically and they go down to in this spreadsheet 1 million uh, 48 what is, is that right? 1,048,576. You'll never run out. The cells are named after the intersection of columns and rows. This is B7. You name the column first, then the row. We learned how to add by starting out with an equal sign. The equal sign tells the computer that you are not just writing text into the cell but that you're going to do something with it in this case add and here is an example of adding three numbers the crosshatch symbol stands for numbers so I put in equal and then some number the plus sign some number the plus sign some number and when you hit enter it adds them up and the answer appears in that cell. You can't read the formula anymore here. The answer will appear here. The formula will appear up here in the input line. I'll do that briefly right here. I'm going to put in equal 1 plus 2 plus 3 and when I hit enter there's the answer. But you can read the formula up here. Another way to do this is almost exactly identical, but in this instance we're not putting in numbers. We're going to be putting in cell addresses. In other words, we're going to be saying like uh, D1, D2, and D3 and adding them up. So let me put some numbers in D1, D2, and D3. I'm going to say equal D1 plus D2 plus D3 and when I hit enter it'll add them up. There's the answer. This is the formula in the input line. A third way to add things up is to use the sum function. Here you type in equals the word sum, open parentheses, the first cell in the range, colon which stands for the word through, the last cell in the range, close parentheses, then you hit enter and it calculates it. So let's do that. Again we'll use D1, D2, and D3. I will put in equal, type in the word sum, open parentheses, D1 colon D3, close parentheses, and when I hit enter, it adds them up. Here is the formula in the input line. Equal sum open parentheses D1 through D3 close parentheses. Here still is another way to do it. 
you can use the sum function and in the parentheses put a string of cell references in other words individual cell references separated by commas you don't need to use the plus sign the addition sign commas will do because you're already telling it to you to add them up by means of the sum function however if you want to it's redundant but you can use the plus sign the comma will do but the plus sign although it is superfluous will still work similarly you can add up numbers instead of cell references with commas in the same manner or you can use commas or you can use the plus sign the sum function tells it to do the adding and you just don't have to use the plus sign however since we brought the plus sign up think about it we know how to add we know how to subtract multiply and divide all of those things are fair game inside of the parentheses so you can add up the stuff that is inside the parentheses you can multiply it you can divide it you can do anything you want to you can even mix cell references plus pure numbers in other words I can say equal sum a1 call that a1 whatever is in a1 plus the number make up some number 7 plus some other cell reference say D7 and it'll add them up furthermore you can say cell reference times cell reference plus cell reference divided by cell reference the equal sign tells the program that it is not just text I have got here equal 4 minus 1 now you might wonder gee how did he do that because normally when you type in equal 4 minus 1 it turns right into 3 as soon as you hit enter well I used a trick there is a trick around it if you do want to display the equal sign what I did is right up here in the input line hmm where is this thing right next to the enter key to the left of it there is the apostrophe when you put in an apostrophe it negates the equal sign but shows it I'm gonna get rid of the apostrophe and hit enter and now we got three there was also something else regarding that dash the dash made the computer think that 4-1 might be April Fool's Day April 1st so if I got rid of the equal sign we're going to see 4111 and you may not want 4111 so the way to get out of that is to go up here to edit and say undo input now we're back to three now I want to put in the apostrophe again and there we have it equal 4-1 I'm on sheet one here uh, you saw that the sheet was huge it went it went way to the right and way down and of course this screen is is kind of small there's another convention that's built into spreadsheets which allow you to show more than one sheet so you can just click on them 
I've got stuff in this sheet and I don't want to erase it so I'm going to go over here to sheet 2 it's blank so is sheet 3 and if you want to you can add more I just added one more I called it sheet 4 it just automatically names itself now I'm back over here to sheet 2 and uh, if you want to even you can right click on it and rename the sheet I'll just call it sheet 2 I'll put in 2 and then sheet 1 I'll right click rename sheet 1 you can name them anything you want to then here's sheet 3 right click delete sheet you sure yeah sheet 4 delete yes if you want to you can even change the colors of these things there's all sorts of things you can do I'll make this one red Now here I am on sheet 2. If you have got a 10 key with your computer, you will be able to use it to good advantage to put numbers in a list. And most of the time you'll be putting in money. So here's a, a dollar. I'm not going to put in decimal zero, 00. I'm just putting in 1 and then here's 250 2.5 here's a dollar 75 here's eight dollars here's 875 here's 999 when you use a 10 key it's very fast now the problem is none of this stuff lines up here with the one dollar you don't even see the, the cents but you can highlight the column, go to format, go to cells, and you've got number, and I'm going to change the decimal places to two. Hit OK. And now everything I put in that column from now on, 665, it adds, it lines up very nicely. And then if I want to add anything, I just click on some, tap it once, hit enter. There's the answer. That's how much money I've got. And to erase it, you hit backspace, OK. Uh, if you want to uh, highlight everything, you can either go up here or the whole column backspace delete all now this column I did not format so it's going to be non aligned but you can of course select the entire spreadsheet and format the whole thing go to numbers decimal places to and now every column every cell every row is going to look like this you can of course also instead of selecting numbers you can select currency and if you select currency you've got different ways of doing it do you want to show the comma do you want to show negative numbers in red do you want to blow off pennies? Do you want to designate for sure USD dollars? Or do you just want to use the old standard format here? And when you do, you get dollar signs. Uh, the problem is, with dollar signs, in my opinion, it's a picky thing. If you have dollar signs, you're going to have dollar signs in every cell 
every time, every place. And I just don't need it. I mean, I know I'm talking dollars, so instead I just use two decimal places, but that's a matter of personal preference. Now look what I did. I I went back to number, but I forgot to tell it two decimal places. Once you get familiar with a spreadsheet, you can jump around pretty quick and repair things, and it, it, it becomes like typing, you don't think about it where every letter of the alphabet is. You just do it. Uh, I suppose it would be good to uh, show the 10 key again. Uh, I'm going to pop the picture of the keyboard layout up there and you can see it. Uh, there, there is something I want to show you. When you do use a 10 key, the 7 and the 4 and the 1, you use those with your index finger. This middle column you use with your middle finger and this with your ring finger. So it, it, it's very quick. You don't have to look. Uh, like I'm going to put in uh, 775 and then 885, that's $885, and then 999, and then I'm going down. This is the down arrow that I'm, I'm hitting every time uh, between numbers. 885 down. 775 down and so on. Uh, you have to be careful if you hit this button up here, number lock, that turns the numbers off and turns them into the uh, page up, right, left arrow, page down, and so on. I accidentally hit this all the time. Well, that's all I've got for this particular video. I called this format, and I hope this was useful. My name is Pop. Thank you very much.